In a display of India's military might, Rafale fighter jets took part in the Republic Day fly past for the first time as the armed forces showcased its T-90 tanks, the Samvijay electronic warfare system, the Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets on the Rajput on Tuesday. Depicting the nation's rich cultural heritage and economic progress, 17 tableaus from states and union territories and 9 from different union ministries and paramilitary forces took part in the 72nd Republic Day Parade. School children performed folk arts and crafts, displaying skills and dexterity handed down from generations. Bajasal, a folk dance from Kalahandi in Odisha, the Fit India Movement and Atmanirabhar Bharat were also displayed on the Rajput. This year, attendance to the Republic Day Parade was limited due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Those below 15 years of age and above 65 were not allowed among the visitors at the venue. The parade also witnessed several major changes. The contingents only marched a distance of 3.5 km instead of the usual 8.5 km and for the first time in 55 years, no foreign dignitary attended the January 26th parade. However, a 122 member contingent of the Bangladesh Armed Forces marched on Rajput. They carried the legacy of legendary Mukti Jodhas of Bangladesh who fought against oppression and mass atrocities and liberated the country in the year 1971. India is currently celebrating the Swarnam Vijay Varsh, the Golden Jubilee year, commemorating the country's victory over Pakistan in the year 1971 that led to the creation of Bangladesh. The Indian Army, the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy showcased numerous advanced artillery and machines during the parade. The Republic Day Parade ceremony commenced with Prime Minister Narendra Modi visiting the National War Memorial in the morning. The tricolor was unfurled, following by the National Anthem with a booming 21-gun salute. The parade commenced with President Ramnath Kovin taking the salute. 